Hi there. Welcome to Focus Geo's webinar, which covers today uh, ground penetrating radar, GPR, and its use here in imaging bedrock to depths of less than two meters along a highway corridor. Uh, this occurred in Grand Cache, uh, Alberta, and over a distance of about 14 kilometers. With those kind of parameters, I mean, the most efficient way to collect the data was to drop the GPR in a sled and have a, the integrated GPS tell us where we were as the data was being collected and just pull it behind a quad. Before we speak too much of the hows, we should speak of the whys. The whys being that ATCO was laying an electrical line along the highway corridor near Grand Cache, Alberta. And the trenching company, ITS, or Innovative Trenching Solutions, they wanted to know when massive or cohesive bedrock, such as that flagged as bedrock type 1, when did that occur at depths less than 1 meter, as this really would impact the trenching costs and how long it was going to take. So if we look at the collected data, this is a one kilometer stretch of it, and it, the depth there is two meters worth, so one kilometer by two meters. Well, you can't really make out anything at that scale. But if we zoom in, here we start to see the actual GPR reflection. The soils we can identify is like there's a 30 centimeter strip of topsoil across the entire section, whereas the massive cohesive reflection in the center would be bedrock type one, like this massive stone. And then the disparate reflections that are quieter on either side of that bedrock type one, those are indicative of gravels or what we've said was uh, bedrock type two. <clears throat> and aside of that, we have the absolute quiet zones where it's not a lot of reflections in there and that is your uniform overburden. And once the interpretation has been completed, the next and final objective is to transfer that information onto a plan view. Um, and in this case, it's all GIS enabled. Like this is a georeference PDF map that'll load into things like um, Avenza. There's certain apps, a Tremble if you needed a GeoTIFF. That's all uh, quite doable. But the plan view is the one that uh, is most useful to the guys in the field uh, where they can anticipate when they're going to encounter shallow bedrock. Thanks.